Okay, good afternoon everybody. Now that the JOSA rounds are coming to a close, a lot of interest on special round and CSAP counseling, what is called as CSAP counseling uh, from students. I've been getting a lot of calls. So a lot of doubts are there among students. Who should apply for CSAP? If I get a seat in NIT, can I go for special round? If I get a seat in IIT, I'm not interested in those branches. Can I still try my luck in the NIT system? If I don't get a seat, should I go? If I apply for these things, what will happen to my NIT seat or my IIT seat? And what will be the fees? Will the reservation status be project, uh, protected? How long is this whole process going to take, et cetera, et cetera. So this video will discuss all of those questions. Uh, we will take a couple of minutes in terms of quickly answering these questions. Sir. And beyond this video, if you still have doubts, in the comment section, you please go ahead and ask your question and our team will try to respond as early as possible. But please don't ask us questions as to which branch is better, which NIT is better and all that. Ask us questions specific to CSAP and the procedure and formalities. First, let us look at the timelines. Now, what are the timelines? First thing is the round six is going to get over by November 7th. So November 7th, round six is going to get over. By November 8th, you have to do, you have to pay the fees and you have to finish the reporting formalities. As far as the IIT admissions are concerned, the process is closed at this stage. NITs, IIITs, and other GFTIs, it will continue after this for the special round. What is going to happen in the NIT system is the next thing. How is this system going to be different from the IIT system? There is a physical reporting at NITs from November 4th to November 13th. So November 4th to November 13th, there is a physical reporting. Whichever NIT you got an admission in, you got to physically report there. But then this year, because of Corona, they may consider, and I'm sure most probably they will do it, that you can do this reporting also online. So this is going to happen, but they have not announced, but this is likely to happen. So at this process, at this point of time, 9th to 13th, you will, you can physically report and freeze or you can say that, okay, I'm going to retain this seat, but I'm also interested in special rounds and I will tell you what you need to do for that. Then you will have the CSAP registration process. So if you want to uh, participate in the special rounds, JOSA will be out of the way and CSAP will take over central seat allocation board. So CSAP will take over and you have to do CSAB registration. You'll be given a couple of days. And the tentative date, November 16th is what we are expecting, but we don't know. Let's wait for the final dates. So this process is going to end, the physical reporting at NITs is going to end by 13th. So the CSAB registration we are expecting uh, around 16th, it may be a little, one day earlier also, but around that time. And you'll be given a couple of days for completing the CSAB registration. So you'll have to, Finish the CSAB registration. Then you can give special round one. Special round one, you'll have to give fresh seat allocation. And after that, the results will be declared and you'll be given a day uh, to report. And then there will be special round two. And all of these things will happen in uh, two to three days. So it is not like your JOSA counseling where there will be a number of days. Here you will not get so much of gap. This th the whole process will be over from 16th in about six days or so. So you'll have to be ready for that. Okay, now who is eligible for CSAP? Let us spend some time in terms of understanding this. Who is eligible for CSAP? First, candidates who have not registered, you may be eligible to participate in JE main for whatever reason you have not participated in JOSA counseling so far. If you want to register now, you can register now uh, in CSAP and start from here. But I, I think that is a rare case. Second is candidates who got a seat. You already got a seat in the six rounds. First to sixth, you got a seat. You paid fees. You have reported. All that is over. Now you want to participate in special round also because you're not satisfied with whatever seat you've got. What you can do is at the time of physical reporting, 9th to 13th or online reporting, 9th to 13th, at the NIT where you've got a seat, you can declare that uh, 
you want to pay the entire fees. Other students who have frozen their seats at the NIT have to pay the entire institute fees. Whatever is the fees, minus the 35,000 you already paid, the remaining fees you have to pay. But suppose you are interested in participating in the special round, you don't have to pay the fees. Instead, you have to give what is known as an affidavit. Now, what does the affidavit say? The affidavit says that definitely you are going to participate in the special round. And if you do not participate in the special round, whatever seat was allocated to you and you accepted in the JOSA rounds, that will be cancelled. So you should be very careful about this. Let me repeat this. If you have got a seat in JOSA rounds in any NIT and IIITs, you have accepted it, paid fees, and you want to go for special round, be sure only if you are serious about special round, you should go because once you sign this affidavit and don't go for special round, then whatever seat that has been allocated to you, that will get cancelled. And whatever seat acceptance fees that you have paid, that also will get cancelled. You will not get a refund. So you have the flexibility of participating in the special round even after accepting the seat at NIT by submitting the affidavit. But once you give the affidavit, you should participate in the special round. If you don't participate, the seat that you've got in the JOSA rounds will get cancelled. So that is what you got to keep in mind. Third, candidates who did not get any seat. Obviously, if you haven't got a seat in any of the six rounds, you will obviously try your luck in the special round. So you should actually go for the special round. And there are some students who've got seat in IITs. They would have got some, say, ceramic engineering in Varanasi or some other seats. And they are not interested in those seats. And they would like to, you know, uh, try their luck at the NITs. Perhaps if they get a good branch in the NITs, then you can go for it. So those people also can participate in the CSAP round. Whatever I'm mentioning here, these are all based on the business rules in the previous years. This year, again, a fresh set of business rules will be announced in the CSAP portal. They have not uh, released them yet. They will release them in the next one week or so. But these are based on the last year's and the before year's rounds and most probably they're going to retain these things. Sir. So if you are, if you've already got a seat in IIT, you have reported for it, you still want to participate in the NIT uh, special rounds, you can go ahead. But there is one problem here. The problem is whatever seat acceptance fees that you have paid to the IITs, that will get cancelled. That is the problem here. The whatever seat acceptance you have paid at the IITs, that will get cancelled. Okay, so this is this is the set of people who can who are eligible for the special round. Now, what are the important points as far as the special rounds are concerned? First thing is a fresh registration is required. Where do you do the registration? In the CSAP portal. C S A B. In the CSAP portal, you can go and do a fresh registration. JOSA registration is no longer valid and whatever you have given, whatever options you have given in JOSA portal, they are all deleted. Now JOSA, after the special round start, JOSA is passed. So you forget about JOSA. So those registrations are not valid. You have to put in a fresh registration. Then there is a participation fees. Now this is very important. In the JOSA rounds, there was no participation fees. You were required to pay a fees called the seat acceptance fees only if the seat was allocated to you. In the special rounds, what happens is they will upfront collect the participation fees. Last year, it was 36,500 for general candidates and OBC. In the case of SC, ST and PWD candidates, it was 16,500. The same thing, I think, will continue this year also. So this participation fees you have to pay at the time of registration in the special round. Once you register and they'll be given, you'll be given two days to register. Uh, we are expecting from November 16th. So within these two days, you'll have to register for the CSAP special rounds counseling. After that, you have to give fresh choices. Now, what do I mean by fresh choices? And how do you give fresh choices? 
So to aid you to give NIT and the IIIT system, those seats will be given to you in terms of the basically a uh, vacant seat matrix. So you can use that to fill the seats. But one thing you got to keep in mind is that when you are giving the uh, options, you let assume that lot other seats are also vacant because what will happen is I can go by the vacant seat matrix, but there may be a student who might have got say NIT Warangal Biotech and he may opt for say NIT Suratkal Triple E, let us say, and he gets NIT Suratkal Triple E in special round one. Then what will happen? His NIT Warangal Biotech will become free, and that will also be eligible. That you will be eligible to apply for that. So while you are giving your choices, you like to give your choices as if all the seats are vacant. And what are you losing? So just go ahead and give all the seats starting from NIT Warangal or NIT Trichy or NIT Suratkal Computer Science. Onwards, you can give a whole lot of seats. We do not know which one of them will fall vacant. But just to give you an idea, there will be a vacant seat matrix which will be displayed in the CSAP portal. Okay, then the refund policy. You got to remember the refunds. What will happen is that after round one, if the seat is allocated, if as per your choices, you're getting a seat, then what you need to do is you need to report and pay the seat acceptance fees of 35,000, all right? If you don't get a seat, then you can automatically go to the second round. And after second round also, you don't get any seat, then what will happen is they're going to deduct 1,500 as partic participation fees and uh, 35,000 will be refunded to you. Suppose you accept a seat and uh, you are no longer interested in the seat, then they are going to deduct 5,000 rupees and uh, refund the remaining amount. So that option is still valid, is still there for you. So these are some of the details that you need to know as far as the CSAB is concerned. If there are any questions as far as CSAB is concerned, please put it in the comment section and we will uh, try to answer. But please limit your questions only to CSAB round. Please don't ask us questions about which NIT is better and which branch is better, etc., etc. So in short, please go ahead. If you're not satisfied with the branch that you've got or you've not got a branch in any of the NITs, you can go ahead with uh, the CSAB special round. Uh, wait for the dates. Wait for the business rules to be announced in the CSAB portal. Follow the dates and follow all the instructions that we have given here. Okay.